everybody, this is Chris. Lesson number two, electricity is overrated. I like the challenge of using my brain, my hands, and my whole body to complete woodworking projects without the use of electrical power tools. In this video today, I'm going to detail the tools that I use in building the rocking chair. Here we go. Just one more thing. For all you non-woodworkers out there, there's some inherent dangers to how I do my projects. So everyone from wimp.com, break, reddit, flyby.com, I'm going to show you during this video some of the more dangerous things I go through. Do not try this at home. The first set of tools that I use are a series of benches, vices, and clamps that I have to hold my wood properly so I can work on it. In order to get the initial curve on the rockers, I use this template to get it from another chair. It's important in your carving to be able to hold the wood firmly. And so I've installed the slot and holes to install this large bar clamp so I can crank this down on top and hold it tight. I use two axes, a broad axe, and a hatchet, both of which are single bevel. I use three adds. The first two are used for carving curved surfaces, and the last one is used for carving flat surfaces. For some of the finer carbon, I use this gouge. It's curved and it has a reverse bevel. I use three different types of scorps to carve the curved surfaces. I don't use a lot of sandpaper, it's just too inefficient. So what I use are scrapers. These have a fine edge on it and you use it to scrape the wood till it's smooth. For very rough carbon I use these draw knives. This is my favorite tool. For fine carving of curved surfaces, I use spoke shaves. I use three saws, a large crosscut saw, a medium crosscut saw, and a small Japanese saw. In order to drill the holes, I use this bit and brace set. In the next two video clips, you'll see how I transfer angles between the rockers and the seat using these sliding bevels. I use two types of planes, a standard flat plane and a compass plane. A compass plane allows you to adjust the base to do curved surfaces. This is a post drill name because these were intended to be mounted on the post of barns. It can very accurately drill both wood and metal. It's flywheel driven and it has an automatic indexing mechanism, or you can do it by hand. Damn it. Well, what can I say? 
The foot power lathe worked spectacular in building the spindles. Now I've got two videos on this already. The foot power lathe and the foot power lathe 2. So if you have questions, check them out. That's all my tools. Good luck in using your brain, your hands, and your whole body, and no electrical power tools. Thank you.